Hi and welcome to another math lesson. We are looking at multiplying and dividing algebraic fractions. Now before we get into the algebraic fractions, let's just look at and multiply normal fractions. When we multiply normal fractions, we simplify, simply multiply numerator and numerator, denominator with denominator. But before we do that, we can first see can't we cancel common factors? Because in the end, this is 1 times 2 divided by 4 times 7. So there is no terms in the numerator or denominator, no pluses and minuses. So I can simply cancel uh, common factors. Here I've got a 2 that divides into itself once and into seven, uh, 4 2 times. So I'm left with a 1 divided by 2 times 7 is 14. And I could have done this right off the bat. So from the beginning I could say, okay, 2 divides into itself once and into 4 2 times. Now I can do that because I'm still simply multiplying. Let's see if we can do a similar thing when it comes to algebraic fractions. Here I go. I want to multiply these two fractions, x squared over yz times y squared over xz. And here I see, okay, x can divide into itself once and into x squared and um, we subtract the exponents. So there's a 1 and um, we'll cancel with, with one of the two that I have there. And here's uh, y. That y can cancel with one of the y's I have in the numerator. So I have one y in the numerator left. Okay, let's put a 1 there. Okay, now how about z and z? Can they cancel? Well, both of them are in the denominator. So I'll cancel numerators and denominators, but I'll multiply denominator, denominator, or numerator, numerator. So multiplying those two, I get x, y. I simply multiplied. And multiplying these two, there's no more y left. There's a z and another z. So my answer is z squared. And then now we come to the more difficult questions. This one is actually quite intense. Okay, now I want to multiply these two. Now you can go ahead and multiply those two, two terms with each other. But you'll soon realize that if you multiply that thing out, you have one terrible um, expression. So first, before we continue, we want to cancel common factors. It's going to make life so much easier. But I can't. I've got no common factors. All I'm so what I'll have to do first is I have to factorize. Remember, I can't cancel x with one of those x's. These terms, they are terms. I can't cancel common terms, so I factorize. That first one is the difference of two squares. So I get x minus one, x plus one, divided by x plus one times this one can also go into two brackets. I see both of them have an x in. The positive tells me they both are the same signs. This positive tells me both is positive. That one one times one is one. One plus one is two. So the two factors are one and one. And in the numerator I still just have x minus one. And now if I consider all of these terms or each two terms as uh, a factor by itself, I can see, okay, that x plus 1 can cancel with that x plus 1, and this x minus 1 can cancel with that x minus 1, and in the numerator I'm left with 1, in the dom denominator I'm left with 1 for this side, on the other side this denominator is also 1, I've got x plus 1, and there's two brackets, so I can write it as x plus 1 squared divided by 1 times 1 is 1 now. If I wanted to, I can go multiply it out again. These two was the result of x squared plus 2x plus 1, if I wanted to. Okay. If I say simplify, it's probably best to leave your answer then as that without dividing with the 1. We don't need to divide with 1, it just stays the same. Now how about dividing dividing um, fractions? Let's look at a few examples of dividing fractions. 
when we divide a fraction, uh, we do what one of my students once taught this to me. He probably learned it by another teacher. So I'm sorry if I'm copying a teacher's uh, knowledge here, but um, we tip in times. Tip and times. Well, what do I mean by tip and times? The denominator gets tipped. In other words, I have a half that is being divided by 9 over 6 but I'm going to tip in other words 9 over 6 will become 6 over 9 and I'm going to times tip and times okay. and then I get an answer of 2 divides into itself once into 6 3 times 1 times 3 is 3 1 times 9 is 9 and I can continue simplifying further. 9 goes into itself once and into 9 three times. So my answer is a third. Okay. And why is it that we tip in times? Now this is called the reciprocal. When the reciprocal of 1 over 2 is 2 over 1. The reciprocal of 7 over 4 is uh, sorry, not equals to, and the reciprocal of that is 4 over 7. It can also be called the inverse. Okay. Now, why do we multiply by the inverse? Well, I think the best way of me explaining it is if I tell you that we have 10 students, or oh, let's make it 12 students in the class, and I am sharing uh, one cake, or well, actually, let's take sweets. I am sharing... 24 sweets 24 sweets are shared in other words so I've got 24 sweets is shared among 12 students which means that 12 goes into itself once and into 24 two times each student gets two sweets okay so what's going to happen if I divide the denominator? So instead of dividing between 12 people, let's say only half of the class is present. So I'm dividing the denominator 12 over 2. What is going to happen? Well, now there's only 6 children in the class, which means instead of getting two sweets each, um, six goes into itself, once and into 24, four times, you get four sweets each. Okay, let's say only a third of the class is present. So, in other words, 24 sweets divided in a third of the class, which means out of the 12, only a third is there, so I must divide by three which means there's only four students present. If only four students are pre present, four divides into 24, which uh, four divides into, into itself once, 24, six times, each person will get six sweets. And here's just an illustration of how it really is true, that when I divide the denominator, when the denominator is being divided, then the numerator is being multiplied or the result is being multiplied by the same factor that I'm dividing with and here I can see it when I divide my denominator with 2 my numerator is actually multiplied with 2 when I um, divide my denominator or the result is actually multiplying the whole thing with a 2 when I divide my numerator with 3 the result is actually also multiplied by 3. Um, and what I mean by the result is initially I had 2. 2 multiplied by 2 gives me 4. 2 multiplied by 3 gives me the 6. Okay, now I hope that illustrated it a little bit to you. But uh, in general, even if you don't understand why it's true, the method remains very simple, but I do urge you, please try and understand. Try and understand why these things are true, because they do make sense. And just because you don't understand them doesn't mean they don't make sense, it just means you don't understand yet.
So try. Okay, so to simplify this, we're going to tip and times. A B over C squared is multiplied by, now I tip in times, so instead of C over B, I'm going to have B over C. And this time, mm, can I cancel anything? No, I can't. Can multiply those two to get A, B squared. Multiply these two to get C cubed. And here's one of those difficult ones again. One where I again see I, I have terms. I have terms. So if I do want to cancel anything, I'm going to have to factorize. So let's factorize from the get-go. Okay, x cubed minus 8 can go into a small, that's the sum of two cubes. Okay, the difference of two cubes, sorry, x minus 2, because that can be written as 2 cubed. x minus 2, now we multiply x by itself, so we get x squared. That's a negative, this one is a positive. Okay, and to get the middle, we multiply those two, so 2x. And to get the final one is also always a positive. And multiply the 2 by itself, we get 4. That's divided by, and in two brackets, the denominator can go into two brackets, so x minus 2 and x plus 2. And then I see I am dividing. I'm dividing a fraction, which means I can multiply with the reciprocal. The denominator is just x plus 2, but then um, what used to be the denominator and they, the two of them are swapping around. And you'll see this and that is exactly the same. So I don't need to go factorize. As a matter of fact, it can't. So don't bother. They're going to cancel out completely anyway. So this whole denominator there divides into itself once and into that factor once. This x plus 2 divides into itself once and into that x plus 2 once. This x minus 2 divides into itself once and into that one once. So I have in the numerator, I've got 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1. In the denominator, I've got 1 times 1, which is 1. So my final answer is just 1. And this is why I love maths. This complicated expression here is equal to 1. It's just equal to the number 1. So on page 1 in your textbooks, they might as well have put this instead of page 1 they could have written that because that thing is equal to the same value that 1 is okay I hope you get it it is not really that difficult if you understand factorization and the basics of how do we deal with multiplying and dividing fractions let's just go through it quickly when I multiply I multiply numerator with numerator, denominator with denominator, but before I do so, I can first cancel anything that's common in the numerator with anything that's common in the denominator. If I can't cancel yet because I have terms, I must first factorize. And after I have factorized, I can cancel what was common, and then the final answer I get by multiplying numerator with numerator, denominator with denominator. Okay, if I am dividing, however, when I divide, I first and always tip in times. So I tip my factor in the denominator, I tip my fraction. So if it used to be A over B, it becomes B over A. And instead of multiplying, dividing, I will be multiplying. That is called the reciprocal. Then I continue as before, cancelling what is common. After I've cancelled what is common, if possible, I multiply numerator with numerator, denominator with denominator. And again, if there are terms, I will tip in times, factorize, cancelling common factors, and finally multiply numerator with numerator, denominator with denominator. Cool, good luck on trying some on your own now.